Hello again, I am Blunty, and I know this took a little longer than I'd predicted in my first look video, being that it took a month instead of a week, but what are you going to do? Sue me for being thorough? Also a bit slack. Anyway, here it is, my review of Razer's brand new studio quality microphone, and the first of its kind from Razer, the Razer Siren. Now, they've built this thing with streamers, let's players, and other kinds of live video game entertainment in mind, or at least that's who they're marketing it to. So let's break it down. They call it a studio grade microphone, and really that has to mean two core things. Audio quality, of course, but also build quality. Well, let's start with audio quality. Well, as far as that goes, you tell me. I am recording the voiceover for this video with the siren. I've taken no special precautions as far as soundproofing the room or anything goes. It is just a studio quality microphone sitting in an ordinary lounge room. And in this case, hooked up directly to my MacBook Air. No special drivers or anything, just plug and play and boom, away you go. And you are, of course, free to make up your own mind about how this sounds. But in my opinion, it's performing wonderfully. It's crisp clear, not too thin and not too boomy. I'm working quite close to the microphone without any kind of pop screen and it seems to be handling the plosives quite well. It has been designed and tuned very well indeed for voice work. It's at least equal to the proper studio mic that I usually use for my voiceover stuff. Inside there are three 14mm condenser capsules which are arranged in such a way that you can use the mic in several different pickup patterns. For one person voiceover stuff, the cardioid mode helps isolate pickup to only what's in front of the microphone. There's also a stereo mode, more suitable for musical instrument performances and such, an omnidirectional mode for pickup all around the mic, useful for recordings of groups of people sitting around a big table for instance, and there's a bi-directional mode for pickup focus on just the front and rear, good for interviews and other two-person situations where you've got to make do with one mic between you. And indeed, all modes work exactly as they should. But I'd gamble it'd be safe to assume that most people, at least most gamers, the people who this is aimed at, will be using it in the cardioid mode. And indeed, this is where the majority of my own testing has belonged. I've used this mic extensively over the last month for voiceover stuff for videos. I've recorded two camera stuff where I've synced the recording from the siren in post-production to the camera's track later. And of course, for quite a lot of live streaming, including a couple of streams that have been in excess of 10 hours each. And in all cases, it's performed completely flawlessly and at an excellent quality level. Any of you who've caught my streams for the last month or so have heard it for yourself. It's very clean, very natural sounding, and very easy to use, in that you don't have to be especially good at microphone technique to get great sound from it. Everything from an arm's length to close proximity techniques have delivered reliable results every single time. Now, back to build quality. Razer are asking just under 280 Aussie dollar reduce for this thing. Not cheap, so it better be built like a tank. And, well, it pretty much is. Strong metal construction encases the sensitive electronics literally from top to bottom. The perforated grille is thicker and sturdier than you'd expect, offering no flex at all, even under quite strong pressure. The centre band is admittedly a lightly textured plastic, but it too feels far more significant and tougher than you may expect. The bottom grille, not really a grille at all really, but an aesthetic choice for visual balance, leads to the bottom plate with a USB port, headphone monitoring port, and a proper 1 8 inch metal threaded microphone stand mount awaits optional attachment for a microphone stand or boom arm if that's your preference. But otherwise the mic sits secure and stable on the desktop thanks to the simple but properly weighted stand which comes with, which is split in this kind of Y shape for stability but also to leave enough space for the slightly stiff braided USB cord to pass through freely at any angle it sits at. I mentioned the braided cable in my first look video and it is an important and often overlooked detail that I feel like mentioning again. It is long, it is strong, it is going to put up with lots of abuse as you move your microphone about, pack it away, bring it out again. So this long, strong, robust cable is a very welcome component indeed. On the back of the mic are two rotary controls, one for selecting the pickup button and the other for microphone gain. On the front, a similar control for the headphone monitoring volume can be adjusted and an illuminated mute button sits below that, which is handy. It lights green for on, red for muted for an easy at-a-glance read. Also, a small but very clear and quite readable OLED display for feedback on your gain, volume and mode selections sit above those. Back around the rear is the requisite Razer Snake logo. And using a button on the bottom, you can choose if this is illuminated for some brand bling. If the mic happens to be in shot on camera with you, it can look kind of cool, I suppose. Or you can hit the button and leave it in stealth mode for a more subtle, perhaps less distracting approach. 
Razer's main competition for the Siren is of course the very popular Blue Yeti, which I will have a short follow-up video on, uploaded within a day of this review, with a direct head-to-head -head comparison for you guys, because well, you asked for it. But meanwhile, in its own right, on its own merits, the Razer Siren is an extremely solid bit of gear, figuratively and metaphorically and literally and... and other luderies. <laughs> and frankly, it's one of those gadgets I'll be very sad to pack up and send back to the nice folks at Razer, as it is only a loner unit. If I didn't already have suitable mics, I'd probably do a bit of begging to Razer to let me hang on to the review sample, because I am very impressed with it. But, oh well, I do have other mics, and I'm not a greedy man, so back it goes. <laughs> My only real complaint is that there's a bit of an ugly premium placed on top of the Australian asking price when compared to the one for America land. And while that often comes with the territory here, in this case, when you do the math, it feels a bit excessive. But best beaches in the world tax aside, if you are looking to step up your game as far as your audio is concerned, the Razer Siren is absolutely worth adding to your list. It delivers precisely what it promises. And it's obviously left me quite impressed with it. Thanks for watching. I am Blonty, and I will catch you next time.